Uh, Warburg, congrats on the win tonight. We'll open up the press conference with remarks from the coach and then uh, just questions from the, from the media. Yeah, just really proud of, proud of our team. Um, I thought we did a great job following game plan uh, and defensively in the first half especially. Uh, I thought we were really on point and had them a little bit frustrated. And then they, they came out at halftime and made a great run on us, uh, gave us some problems. Uh, I think they got it to four. Um, and we switched a little bit of stuff defensively. Uh, and then we were able to pull that thing away again. And yeah, I just, I guess, just give credit to our players about just staying in there and not letting the, the tough runs really affect how we play. Um, you know, and I, I thought we made some really big plays when we needed to, hit a couple really big threes, um, timely, timely threes, and then made free throws down the stretch. So um, we shared the ball really well. Uh, I thought we took care of the ball really well, especially after the first six, seven minutes uh, when we had turned it over quite a bit. So really proud of our team, excited to be here, excited to play another day. Coach, I wanted to ask you, you, of course, just alluded to something I wanted to ask you about. That is when they made that run at, at you there in that third period, they narrowed the gap up to a single possession there a couple times. You guys never panicked and you stayed within your game and you were able to overcome the adversity that you faced. Do you think that being in these situations before and having that experience you know, in previous years played a big part in that tonight? I don't know if previous years necessarily helped us, um, but certainly this year, you know, we've been in situations this year all year long where people would make a run and, and this group just stays together and never panics, stays really composed. And, you know, we've got a lot of new players in the mix this year and, and for this younger group to do that, um, I think says a lot about who these, who, who these guys are. Coach, offensively, you guys were getting quality looks from three-point range pretty much all game. Uh, Oshkosh is a team that was ranked 12th in the nation in three-point field goal defense. So what was kind of your keys to being you know, successful beyond the arc tonight? Yeah, you know, it, it comes down to us, for us, spacing. Um, and I thought we did a really good job spacing the floor. Um, honestly, we've run some things in the last three games that we hadn't run all year. Um, you know, just looking at, at ways that we can hopefully explo exploit somebody. And, and I thought we did a great job of that. We still put some pressure on the rim at times, but uh, putting pressure on the rim certainly opened up opportunities on the perimeter. And, and I got a bunch of girls that hunt for threes. And when, when that's your mentality, a lot of them go in. Coach, you talked about stuff that you haven't run all year. Is that stuff that you put in just for these games, or has it been in your playbook and just hasn't uh, been needed? Uh, honestly, I wake up in the morning and something pops in my head. And, and that's the truth. And I'm like, dang, we should try this. Um, don't, don't you, you don't do that for every tournament? Um, I don't know. I can't explain myself. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you have ideas when you, when you, when the head hits the pillow and the next morning I, I have a clear picture of what we want to do and what we want to try. And um, I, don't, I don't know why, but that's kind of the way it's been working lately. So, Coach, one other thing I wanted to ask you about, I just one other step that stands out to me in that third period when they made that run at you, their field goal shooting was uh, 7 out of 16 for 43.8%. I felt that in the fourth quarter, you guys really needed to step up defensively when you had to because they were certainly within striking distance. But then in that fourth period, they were only 4 of 13 from field goal range for 30.8%. So to me, that's an indicator of, of how well your defense really stepped up. Yeah, we made an adjustment um, between the third and fourth. And, and, you know, I thought that was part of it. But, you know, when, when a team's down, three, four, five possessions, and they, you know, you try to start taking tougher shots, quicker shots, and so that might have, might have been part of it, too. I have a question for the student-athletes. If you could talk about how your team prepares for the Elite Eight game for tomorrow. Nice bath. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, it's going to do 
a lot of recovery stuff. Um, make sure we're recovered for tomorrow. Um, ice bath, like Coach said. Um, our trainers are really great. Our coaches are really great. They really get us prepared. They know how to let us relax, um, which is a big key, but also be ready. Um, yeah, just recovery stuff for sure. And also just scout. Um, our coaches are very good at getting a scout together. So um, just like learning our scout, watching the game um, against Amherst and St. Thomas is huge just like to know the players and like what we're going to be up against tomorrow. Thanks. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.